Hey everybody, I'm Zelda Master, and welcome to a channel update. This is probably the last channel update for the year of 2017, as tomorrow starts December, and that's gonna be the last month, so I thought I'd update you guys on what's to come in December, you know, what's gonna be the upload schedule, what I plan on doing, and everything, because in December, we're gonna be doing a lot of things differently than we've done on the channel throughout, uh, since the beginning, because, yes, I finally plan on actually starting playing other games that aren't Zelda, but treating it like a Zelda Let's Play. Now, what that means is, uh, if you've seen any of my Zelda Let's Plays, you'd know that, yes, I am obsessed with the series. I love it, and that's why I can constantly re-Let's Play games constantly. Like, I, I replayed Ocarina of Time three or four times on the channel, Twilight Princess four times, Wind Waker three times. Like, I, I can replay through the games because I love them so much that it's always fun to come back a year or two after and play through it again with you guys but don't worry I don't want to do this anymore like I, I kind of want to branch out to new games and the reason why I stuck with Zelda is because I love Zelda and I don't want to let's play games like I'll play games blind kind of like what I did with Odyssey and Skyrim uh, that I you know don't really plan on LPing I'll do live let's plays of them but the games I want to let's play I want to actually uh, treat like a Zelda let's play where we kind of go through the entire game 100% uh, you know, we get into the lore, we really get into the game itself, and uh, you just treat it like a actual adventure, and that's something, I mean, I love about the Zelda series, and I didn't really find too many other games to Let's Play that felt like that. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of games, but just to fit in that Zelda fantasy-esque vibe, and uh, surprisingly, there was a game that has been out for quite a while that's been by Nintendo that actually has people who helped work on Breath of the Wild create this game, and that is, I believe, Monolith. And uh, they actually created, which I'm sure you guys can tell probably by the thumbnail or all the updates I've been talking about. But yes, Xenoblade Chronicles is a game that I recently I recently picked up this version because so I didn't have it. You can kind of tell by the little sticker down here that it isn't the original version, but I do have the 3DS slash the Monado 3DS version uh, of the game. I do prefer playing it on the Wii slash Wii U because better resolution. The resolution looks really bad on the 3DS. My point here is that recently I got into this game. I think honestly what really made me want to just try Xenoblade was having Rex's outfit in Breath of the Wild. As weird as that is, that small promotion opened me up to the franchise entirely. Now, I remember uh, when Xenoblade Chronicles came out way back. It was during Operation Moonfall, Rain no, not Moonfall, that was from Majora's Mask, uh, though I don't even think that was actually a thing, but Operation Rainfall, I believe was the name, and Nintendo had uh, localized three Japanese RPGs for the Nintendo Wii that were coming, you know, worldwide. And that was very exciting because, you know, the Wii didn't have that many RPGs and it would have been cool to get these, uh, these games to kind of try them out. And I remember when they were coming out with Xenoblade Chronicles, which is obviously this. I didn't pick it up at the time, of course, because like I said, I recently got into this series. Uh, and then there was Pandora's Tower and The Last Story. I remember buying The Last Story Special Edition and then later picking up Pandora's Tower. And I never bothered with Xenoblade, which was a huge mistake because I missed out on Shulk the Monado and his adventures throughout the Bionis. And man, it was, it was something else like, Going through Xenoblade recently felt, well, I felt kind of like a child exploring how giant that world is. It was, it was hard to even imagine how big Xenoblade's world is, like just the Bionis itself. And uh, to me, that was ex extremely mind blowing and kind of opened my eyes that I should be playing more games that aren't just Zelda, especially on the channel. And I think this one is going to be a great series to jump into because not only do I want to play Xenoblade Chronicles 2 coming out midnight which I do expect part one to come out midnight that's already planned but if that series goes well I want to play both of these on the channel as well uh, and kind of treat them like how I treated the Zelda series while I go through them all now granted we're gonna be playing through two first but I think it'd be smart to play through two first it's new uh, you know I'm pretty sure with how Nintendo makes their games they're not gonna have anything from these two, mainly one, uh, that kind of spoils onto two, or that you need to know. Like, I'm pretty sure you can, ha like, haven't, you can, you can get, jump into Xenoblade Chronicles 2, haven't played a a neither of these, and still enjoy it pretty well. Um, 
just knowing how Nintendo makes their games that you don't really need to play through every single one. I mean, Zelda's a great example on how there are sequels, but you don't need the sequels per se. Each title feels like a retelling of its own, and I think that's what Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is going for. Obviously, I don't know. I'm picking it up midnight. I have it preloaded on my Switch, and I plan on, you know, it, well, it's already downloaded. So the second I can play it, I'm going to play it. I'm going to record part one, and then hopefully tomorrow part two, three, maybe even four. It depends on how well this series go. Overall, I'm just really excited to find a series I can just get super into that is like Breath of the Wild, because there are so many new games that come out, but I have to have this weird passion for it. And I mean, yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles 1, that story, like, was so amazing. The gameplay is amazing. I love the combat in that game. I just cannot wait for two. It's opened my eyes and got me extremely excited. And that's why I plan on, you know, just overall incorporating Xenoblade with the channel along with Zelda. Along with Okami HD actually coming later this month or next month in December. And then Shadow of the Colossus. Those are all games I want to do I want 100% and uh, kind of treat them like I treated other Zelda Let's Plays. And that's why I don't do many Let's Plays, because I have to have the same passion I have for Zelda to truly Let's Play a game. I know that sounds kind of weird, but for me, I just don't want to spam out random LPs or random games that I don't feel this way for. I have to feel this way for it to want to share it with you guys and do this whole adventure that was the reason why I started YouTube. So, yeah. With that out of the way, I think it's uh, a bit necessary to kind of tell you guys what will happen to the other projects that are currently going on, what's going on hold, and exactly the schedule. So, as mentioned, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 will be pretty much the main Let's Play, starting from midnight to tomorrow to whatever, uh, you know, whenever I can actually start recording it, hopefully this midnight. But, um, yeah, that's when that starts, but um, on top of it, we're going to be hopefully doing the same live streams pro mode, which I didn't forget about that, don't worry, that is like at least one live stream a week. And, and then maybe Odyssey, I don't really know too much about Odyssey because we have beaten already the game. And I didn't really feel it with collecting the moons because it just requires you kind of running around and looking for moons and stuff. And I feel like that can get a bit stale. So, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe Odyssey will return, don't worry though. Like, uh, it's still there, the file's there, I can still resume it. But, there are other projects I'm sure you guys are wondering and I thought, I'd write them down on my phone so I don't forget about them. So yes, I'm going to be going through pretty much all of the projects I started recently and tell you when it's going to come back and what I plan on doing because I feel like this, like again, like I said before, this is kind of long overdue so you guys know what's coming in December and so on. So um, aside from Xenoblade and then the weekend streams, we're going to have a Kami later this month and then Breath of the Wild, the Champions Ballad DLC, which the second that's out, obviously I'm covering it as I've done with all the other Breath of the Wild stuff. Um, and then aside from that, I think we're just going to kind of you go on with that. Like, we're not really going to add too much else on top of it. I know I have Ocarina of Time 3D Master Quest, which um, I think I'm going to do like once a week or something. And the reason why, a lot of people are asking, why am I not consistent with that? Well. Again, like I mentioned before, I've re-let's played these games so many times that I don't want to just spam it out again. I feel like I've done that enough, you know? So I'm going to take my time and really enjoy it and just not put out as much because there's so many other videos of me playing that exact game that you can just watch that if you're really eager to see the game. I know this is a Master Quest and I never 100% in Master Quest, but we'll get to it. Don't worry. I just want to take my time so it's not done and I'm like, oh, can't play Ocarina of Time anymore on the channel without relets playing it for a hundred time <laughs> so yeah that's a thing but don't worry uh, it will resume the let's race with scarred sword i'm not entirely sure about that especially with december coming and holidays and everything and me uh, having to record with matt at certain times I, I don't know how consistent that will be that will probably resume january in terms of the other let's race which was the jora's mask I honestly don't think that will come back, I'll be honest with you guys, it's been quite a bit since the last video, I feel like a lot of uh, core things have been lost in terms of files and even the game file um, for one of us, so like overall that series might be cancelled, just don't bank on Majora's Mask coming back, I'm just saying this now, I apologize, don't worry though, after Skyward Sword Let's Race, we have Breath of the Wild, maybe something else, like I'm, I'm still going to be doing Zelda Let's Races. I think I need to find um, 
someone to just mass record the series. That way when I start it, I don't have delays. Because I feel bad always doing delays because it is a weekly series. But understand, that it's not just me recording, I need someone else. And it's kind of like a two-man effort. So, it's a bit harder to even stay consistent when two people have completely different schedules. And only contact each other online, which is Matt. So, yeah. But I don't blame Matt. It's more so my fault with my computer issues. But I'm just saying, yeah, don't expect it too consistently because of that reason. Anywho, um, alongside that we have the TP uh, HD 3 Heart Race with the Gettendorf Amiibo, which I was doing. It wasn't a race, I mean, it was just a series. That will honestly come back next year. I said that a lot, but I just feel like I need to say it in video form, so all of this is just out there for those who really want to know. Because I feel like every time I stream, I always get asked for all of these series and when they're going to turn, so... Might as well just answer them all now. Another one that's constantly asked is Breath of the Wild Master Mode. Now, I love doing that series. We went through the game so quickly, much quicker than the original playthrough, and we were challenging ourselves with six hearts most of the time, and uh, obviously it being Master Mode, but the reason why that series constantly uh, was pushed back and went on hold and this and that is honestly because my computer like I, I for some reason I can stream with a webcam and gameplay but if I try to record both separately there is always audio issues whether the gameplay audio or my webcam freezing frame and stuff it just never works out so that's a series I kind of gave up on until I can actually find a solution whether it's using my second laptop which for some reason doesn't work properly with the webcam so that's already an issue and then um, yeah, my computer just not being strong enough. I'm honestly gonna have to wait. I'm hoping next year, early next year, I can buy a new computer so I can just never have problems like this anymore slowing me down. But it is what it is and, uh, you know, at least I can record uh, somewhat. So I'm not really complaining. So yeah, just understand why that's uh, on hold. And then aside from that, it's pretty much it. Um, you know, some people may ask for Wind Waker HD, which we completed, you know, don't get me wrong, we, we finished that series a long time ago, but I said I was going to come back to New Game Plus to take the couple photos I missed out on the Nintendo Gallery and overall play as Link in his Outset Island outfit, but uh, that will also wait until sometime next year. Overall, just mainly expect this month Xenoblade, Breath of the Wild, and Okami. So, finally, two new series, two new games that we're going to be taking on on the channel from start to finish, hopefully 100% both of them. Wonder how like Chronicles 2 is going to take, but I mean, I'm ready for it. Like, the bigger the adventure, the better. Um, so yeah, we have that. And then some people may be asking as well, because I don't want to forget, I literally want to address everything I can address, so there's no one in the comments asking what about this. Breath of the original Breath of the Wild Let's Play, people are asking for Korok Seeds from time to time which I feel like it's probably the least requested thing, which is understandable. Um, the Korok Seed Collection Guide thing that I was doing with the series is honestly going to wait until after the DLC for Breath of the Wild, the final DLC. And the reason why and hear me out is because, honestly, we don't know what that DLC has to offer. It's going to give us the outfit uh, of Link in the Outset Island tunic, funny that I mentioned that earlier, but we're going to be getting that in the DLC. And then, you know, the whole new dungeon, a new part of the story, this and that. So, yeah, it's just, there seems like so much that I'm not going to want to stop playing the game right after I finish the Champion's Ballad. We can maybe use whatever items, whatever knowledge, and then start playing through the game again, getting the Korok Seed. So I'm going to do the remaining Korok Seed collection stuff after the Champion's Ballad. So, sometime into next year as well. But the Champion's Ballad, as soon as it comes out, we're covering it. Anyways, that's pretty much it. I know I went on for quite the long, uh, it, a lot of it was just a tangent about, like, the, you know, games that I'm constantly replaying and stuff, but I just thought I'd update you guys on the channel all together and what's to come, because, again, like I said, from tomorrow, it'll be kind of like a new chapter for the channel. We're finally going to be diving into, seriously diving into, new series is on the channel and treating it like Zelda where we just 100% it because yeah it surprised me that I've been only mainly doing Zelda for so long and haven't really given other series a chance and for those wondering what other series I plan on covering that isn't Xenoblade and Okami at the end of this video which we'll play very soon is an outro image 
of all the games I plan on doing next year and in the future, including Nier Automata, which you, um, you can see 2B in the outro, including um, obviously Shadow of the Colossus, and I'm gonna stream Fire Emblem Warriors maybe next year. Like, there's a lot of things I have planned on the channel, and I don't want to spam it and put stuff on hold and this and that, so we're gonna take it one piece at a time. So for now, Xenoblade, Okami, and the Champions Ballad, and I'll see you guys next year with hopefully another update and new things to come to the channel. So thank you all so much for watching. Look forward to tonight if you are excited for Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Part 1. I am so excited. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking before this video goes on to be way too long. Again, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.